Corona. This is how you doing us, bro. Come on, Corona. Yes, right. What's up? All right. in a little bit bro we've just got the first coronavirus console casualty of 2020 the turbo graphics 16 mini has been officially delayed specifically due to the coronavirus i know we're going to talk about the xbox one and the playstation and how the coronavirus is also impacting those consoles we got new updates on that too but first the first casualty of 2020 the turbo graphics 16 mini was scheduled to launch march 19th and konami y'all didn't know konami had a gaming console that's right bro back in the 90s TurboGrafx-16 was coveted, bro. While most dudes were on the 8-bit NES, the Elite were gaming on 16-bit power before the Sega Genesis, bro. Also known as the PC Engine, TurboGrafx-16. I remember as a kid, I wanted one, bro. I was a Nintendo dude. Uh, I had a Sega Genesis, dude. I had a Sega Genesis Super Nintendo. But I always wanted a TurboGrafx-16, bro. Bonk. Looked so cool, bro. The caveman with the big head. The graphics looked amazing at the time. But <coughs> they did announce that they're having a mini. Everybody wants a mini console now since Nintendo started doing it. Sega did it. PlayStation. <laughs> oh, that was garbage. PlayStation did it. And so we were supposed to be getting a TurboGrafx-16 uh, mini Konami has come out and said due to the coronavirus, it's impacted production of the console. So it has been delayed indefinitely. We don't know when it's going to launch. But bro, yeah, I didn't click on this because of no TurboGrafx-16. What about the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5? Well... We got good news from AMD. <coughs> this is coming from BGR.com. During AMD's Financial Anal Analyst Day presentation on uh, this past Thursday, Rick Bergman, AMD's Executive Vice President of Computing and Graphics, showed a slide to the audience that reassured fans of next-gen um, manufacturing worries. They showed a slide that reinforced that the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X will be ready for holiday 2020. On the slide is a, is a big caption that, that says, well it isn't huge, but it does say it on the slide, next generation on track. Letting them know that next, um, that next generation consoles, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, the next generation on track um, title is right below Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, indicating that on AMD's end, both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X is still on track to launch in 2020. I have to admit, with everything getting canceled, I was worried about holiday 2020 to play my Xbox Series X. Why am I moving around like a chicken? I don't know, but cock. But uh, Xbox Series X is gonna be a day one pickup. Um, I was worried, bro. I, th I thought I was gonna have to play Halo on Halo Infinite on my Xbox One X, bro. Whatever else they got announced, a new Forza. Pro announce a new Fable game. We want Fable. And so, um, um, next gen consoles are still on track for holiday 
2020. Great news, great news, great news for us as gamers. According to AMD, that's the latest update we have. Bro, GDC was just canceled. Um, another um, Twitch something from Twitch event was just canceled. E3 is going day to day. E3. Um, last time um, we got an update, they said that it's still on track, but they're monitor monitoring the situation on a day-to-day -day basis because E3 is in L.A. L.A. just issued a state of emergency, bro, because of the coronavirus. So if you ask me, I don't think E3 is going to happen this year. And I really don't care because as long as we get the information, I think uh, Microsoft, Sony, well, Sony ain't doing nothing anyway, and Nintendo have their pre-recorded um presentation so to still give the announcements we'll still tune in to hear them gaming announcements so turbo graphics 16 mini delayed xbox and playstation still on track according to amd good news good news good news all right next news item bro the Super Nintendo, the PlayStation, what is it called? The Nintendo PlayStation. This was, for the, to give you guys a history, Sony and Nintendo, they partnered briefly to make a PlayStation, uh, Super Nintendo with a disk drive, the Nintendo PlayStation. Nintendo backed out of the deal, and voila, they gave birth to the PlayStation. <laughs> but... There was a manufactured console, a de developer console. A console was made, an actual Nintendo PlayStation, and it was just auctioned for guess how much? $360,000. That's right, and it's a working system. It can actually play games. For $360,000, the Nintendo PlayStation was auctioned and one lucky game collector has it that's a whole lot of money for one gaming console but dude's got it all right next news item let's talk about some fur. 12 teraflops of computing power is what the xbox series x has been confirmed to have and one interesting tidbit, this, I got this from an IGN article, was next gen hair and fur. Bro, one thing that developers still haven't nailed, it's been inconsistent, some games do it better than other, hair and fur in gaming. According to um, developers, IGN has interviewed developers behind the scene who's been working on the next generation system and one of the things they said, next generation hair and fur will be on fleek, bruh. And you know what immediately came to mind? Banjo. Banjo Kazooie Xbox. Bro, if we don't get a new Banjo 3D platforming game, Microsoft, y'all are missing a big opportunity. This could be your mascot. I know y'all got Master Chief, but y'all got Rare. Rare is still a um, Banjo Kazoo is still iconic. Did you see the Smash Brothers reactions on the internet when Banjo got announced? He is still in the hearts and minds of gamers, bro. I said this a million times. This is nothing new. <coughs> this game was better than Mario 64. Mario 64 was game changing because we've never seen um, a 3D game done that well. But what Rare did, they took the Mario 64 formula and improved in every way. The gameplay was better, more moves, more mechanics. The graphics were better, the textures. This was just a better game than Mario 64. Just speaking from a gamer, it was just a better game. Bruh. We need a 3D Banjo Kazooie. Make it happen, um, Microsoft. All right, dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Consoles being delayed? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, I didn't do my bro. Well, there it is. Conquer, bro. No glasses, though. You don't got no glasses. Click. <laughs> we got the glasses. Ha! Oh, we going? What? 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 Oh, we're putting glasses on Conquer, bro. There we go. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. Oh.
Things Gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this flyer right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.